Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Petter here. Now, what I'd like to do is we've finally finished our drip irrigation system on gravity. Now, this took a lot of time and I suppose a lot of experiments to try and get it work. And, and what I was thought I would do is throw it out there just so that no one has to go through the dramas that we went through. And, um, and so what we're looking at is a a drip irrigation system and I think I've got close to about oh, 46 heads um, running over a distance of about well, I don't know what am I looking at there 20 probably about 30 meters and and so what we needed to do was to make sure that we had the volume obviously and we do that with our, our rainwater tank up here in the um, orchard but also to see how these little drippers were going to work now, what, um, what we have found is there are two sorts of drippers on the market. One is which is an adjustable, so that you can regulate the amount of water coming out of the, or the drip irrigation system, or you have a fixed volume amount. And what we have found is that the fixed volume is certainly the way to go. Now, we found that with the, the variable or the adjustment um, drip irrigation um, heads had too much play based on a rainwater tank for gravity. Because the rainwater tank goes up and down, up and down, up and down, you're not gonna get that consistent flow coming out of the heads like what you would do based off a pump where it's just constantly you know shooting out at around about or oh, like let's say the sea flow i think runs at around about um, 65 psi but that's constant and so with the rainwater tank depending on season how full it is and things like that it's going to vary so the pressure behind the the drip irrigation system is then based on how much water you're going to get versus um so let me start again so let's say the rainwater tank is full and you set all your adjustable heads up then that's that's fine but then as the the, the water stops slowly starts dropping you're losing volume and you're also losing pressure behind the heads and then the adjustable ones aren't working that well and 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 so you get a lot less water because you've set them up based on the rainwater tank being full anyway so what we've what we've found is that the the solid dripper is certainly the way to go the fixed dripper and having said that we're using the four liter um, drip heads an hour and so then it, it's all just constant regardless of what pressure so what we've done is we've done some experiments on the rainwater tank being full being half full three quarters full and we're not seeing any difference um, because of that that fixed variant on the dripper head so basically what I want to do is now show you how we've set up this system and and it might be something worthwhile later on down the track you know if, if you've got some irrigation to do um, because some of the early experiments I did with the um, the brown hose that has the holes in it it just that wasn't working for us at all um, so I was a bit nervous going ahead with this and um, but anyway it's, it's worked off and well, it's, it's, it's working and so I'll, I'll turn around and show you what we've got going on um, and I think that you know if you needed to you could then flick it over to a pump and um, so you can still do the same irrigation all right I'll, look I'll turn this camera around so I'll see you soon all right so this is one of the raspberries that we planted out um, when we started doing a, um, looking at this vertical growing. Now, what I should do is I'll pan out a bit because I got it myself into a bit of trouble here. Um, once we planted everything out, Murphy's Law tells me that you may need to make sure that you put the goats away. And I hadn't. <laughs> and they got into the orchard and just ripped all my leaves off the vines or off the canes. So what we've got now is just new growth coming through. Um, so you can see that there. But looking further down, you can see there's that little drip head and the way that it's just dripping away. 
All right, so like I said before, these are the fixed drip heads, and they give us four litres every hour, which is plenty. So basically what we've done is um, we just, when we're up here and we're mucking around in, in the chicken coop, or in turn, you know, we're looking after some veggies or whatever we've got going on, we just turn this on and it stays on, you know, maybe an hour, maybe three quarters of an hour, whatever time that we're up here. And, um, and so what's, what we're finding is that we are getting a lot of all this new growth. And like, you know, there's another one here. That one all just got stripped. <laughs> and we've got our new growth coming through there. So, you know, as, as we were saying before with raspberries, raspberries um, only produce fruit on the second year canes. So we've got a bit of time here before we start getting fruit, but at least that way we're gonna have um, a barrier running along this fence. And, um, and so at least that way it's gonna protect um, our garden, our new outdoor garden here. Um, and as you can see, I've got some, I've just been mucking around with some potatoes and stuff that I had some leftovers. So the potatoes are starting to come out now. You can see there's a heap here. So, but yeah, but that's, we're just sort of, we had some leftover potatoes and we thought, oh, look, we'll just chuck them in there and we'll just see what happens. Ah, but they, they seem to be doing okay. All right, so what I want to do now is, is take you down to the, the end there and I want to sh sort of show you the, the, the end pressure um, and we'll do it at the start as well. So I can sort of show you that it's not just, um, you know, the middle section or whatever it may be, but th these drippers are working pretty much full on at the start and at the end. All right, so I'll just get myself sorted, sorted out and I'll meet you at, at the start of the line and then we'll go down to the end. All right, so I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. So this is our tap that we've run a line through under the ground to the pump house. And, um, and so with that, we, we had two options, but really what I wanted to do was actually have it on the gravity feed system or on the gravity feed line. Um, so this runs off to this line here. We have one that comes around. That runs off to one of the stock troughs. And um, so that's all gravity fed. But in saying that, because I, I really wanted to avoid using the pump. Now the pumps in the, in the pump house here. Now that pump's got quite a few different um, things running on it now. So we've got you know, like in, the, in our veggie garden or chicken coop, we've got one bay here. We've got one bay over there that needs to be watered daily. And then up in the hoop house, further up, um, we've got three cycles up there. Um, so there's already five cycles that the pump is doing. And then typically around about, I don't know, what are we looking at? Maybe about half an hour to 45 minutes um, per cycle. So it was just a little bit of a concern that I had is that, you know, f f not only, because they're all on timers, fitting in time um, in, as a part of the sequence, but also giving the chance or the pump a chance to cool down in, in between waterings and, um, and, and, and turning on. So what we have here, and I'll see if I can line this up with the tap. Now this tap here is probably about 400 mil, say, let's say half a meter up to this rain, the, um, our rainwater tank up there. You can see it up there. So it's basically the underside of the pump house. And so what we've got there is, we did a test based on that level, and then we did another test um, probably about halfway, and then we did another test on, on full. And what we found is that the, ro the results and the volume of water coming out did not change. The only thing that we, we did notice um, is, is obviously if we go below that line here of the pump house, we're not gonna get water coming out of the tap because it's gravity fed. So we have to make sure that the water is always above the bottom of that pump house there. And if that's the case, then we're always gonna get water out. Um, now, we're quite lucky where 
what we've done is we've got this um, rainwater tank here that's on a, a timer um, and we pump water into this tank on a daily basis um, and that runs I think that one's around about four hours a day and that's coming up from that pump house further up at the top there all right so what I want to do now is I'll go get one of these little um, irrigation or the drippers and I can show you the volume coming out so just bear with me so I'll see you soon now just before I take you down to the very end I just thought I'd quickly touch base and, and let you know what we've done here is we've got a T junction um, and that then runs off to the um, Kiwi trellis but on that tail what we need what I needed to make sure is that we were going to get the pressure coming out so effectively what happens is that the water down the line runs, fills up the Kiwi um, ones first, then comes back up and then comes to this point. Now this is at the very end um, before we get to the, the Kiwi trips. Now this, this here is one of our grapes that we propagated um, and of course the, the goats smashed this one as well. So this growth has just really sort of started coming on over the last 10 days. but what I'll do is you can see there's no difference in the amount of water coming out now I haven't measured it but it, it seems to me that the dripping is pretty consistent with the one at the top and that one just sits in there like so um, and so yeah so really what we're looking at is you know 10 day growth heaps of sun truckloads of water um, and it's all sort of coming together all right so what I'll do now is we'll go over to the Kiwi trellis and um, and I'll show you at the very end of the line all right so I'll see you soon all right so at the Kiwi trellis now there's there's our um, sort of outdoor garden fence line this one here is the male that we were saying that we were going to plant and the one that we have here is the female. Now, this is at the very, very end of the line. Now, what I'll do is I'll try and grab this. All right, so again, it looks pretty consistent from the very first one. So this is where the, all the pressure at really at the end of the day ends up. You would think that this one might be a little bit stronger, but um, it seems that it's pretty much exactly the same as all the others. So, and then that, I just leave that one in there and that just does its thing. All right, so effectively what we have, and like I was saying before, you know, we're close to about 30 odd meters. Um, from the very front up there it runs along the fence the irrigation line we've got one that comes out that we just looked at with the grapes we have another one that just comes underground and back up and then runs through this way here so effectively what we've got here is no power and just relying on on gravity and then that's really what I wanted to try and achieve um, like I said before with all the there's so many things that that other little pump is handling I just didn't without putting another pump in which I really didn't want to go down but was toying up with the idea and I thought right we'll try this gravity and yeah and like, and, and like what we said before is that we tried the adjustable ones first and yeah that, they were just no good for the gravity feed so we had to go back to the fixed and ours were the the four liter um, um, uh, four liters an hour so Anyway, that's sort of where we all are. So I just really wanted to touch base to, you know, and, and I suppose really at the end of the day, you know, what have we got there as a gradient, you know, between the trellis here and running back up, I would say it might be close to about a metre. Um, yeah, it could be about a metre um, over that 30 metre span. So anyway, that's sort of the way it goes. Like I'm absolutely stoked that this actually worked. Um, and you know obviously with 
with gravity, you, you do get a lot of airlock issues and things like that. But because we've got so many lines coming out, um, I really believe that, and the water coming down, I really believe that the water pressure is just blowing all the, the, um, the, the air out of the lines. And because we've got so many, I mean, you do hear a bit of a, pss, 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 you know, when they kick off and it takes, I don't know, geez, it probably takes about 30 seconds for the pressure to build up, to find its way down, up and across. And, um, and so, and then once the pressure is all out, you then get the release of air through the, the nozzles and then off you go. So, you know, it might take a minute all up. All right, so all about gravity feed drip irrigation system, and it works. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.